Billy Kemper just put on an incredible display of surfing. It was awesome. A 10 yeah. and a 717. Just warming up that inside rail. He's going to be doing a lot more of that on very large waves. We're back at it with 23.50 on the clock. Benji Brand, Cooper Chapman, Tori Meister, and Shaden Pacaro in the lineup now. This is Shaden, super from the Big Island. This is a kid that loves pipeline, loves chopo, loves big open ocean waves. Home break is called Hoho Iki. Uh, he is a surfer that thrives when the waves get heavy. And this is Cooper Chapman. Cooper has had success out here at Sunset. He has found himself inside the belly of a beast. We've seen this kid charging out here on big days. Oh, no shortage of inspiration. And this is Benji Brand. Benji Brand was looking unstoppable in the Hawaiian Pro. Made it through a couple big heats. Um, got all my boards ready, jet ski ready, food ready, bed ready. I'm ready to walk into my house, go to sleep, and paddle out and win another jobs event. Well, you're kicking off your trip to Maui with a perfect 10 here at the Vans World Cup of Surfing. Thanks so much for that incredible performance. Back and watch the replays. But best of luck, safe travels, and safe event for you and all the competitors out on Maui for the Jaws Challenge coming up tomorrow. Thanks, Billy. Yeah, I'm right there with Ian. Thank you, Billy Kemper, for doing that. That was incredible, entertaining, and inspiring surfing. Uh, for him. Billy, you can see it. That's kind of what I was alluding to, that his intensity. It really does match a wave like Jaws. You know, he'll bring it. Speaking of bringing it, Shaden Picaro brought it on that opening turn. Gets around this big section. Takes the high line. Finishes and gets finished. You hear that, almost that Mortal Kombat voice. Finish him. You look back into the history of surf competition. And there have been some absolute classics that have gone down here. And this is Tori Meister. He's built for it. Big frame. Lots of power. Absolutely unafraid. It's almost scary sometimes to watch Tori surf because he he will not back down from any section. You put him out a back door on a big day and it's almost like you have to cover your eyes when you see him take off. <laughs> Ian Walsh, these are the guys that uh, take off steep, deep, and late. Well, beautiful opening carve and high level of surf IQ. You can see how he kind of took his time. He almost kind of skipped a beat, waited, and then went vertical. And again, that's what really separates you. And uh, at such a young age, he's already had a lot of time invested in surfing over here in the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing. So he's a um, using that knowledge wisely now in second place as Benji Brand now just fading down the line straight up and into the lip and I was going to say if he rides out of that turn that would have been a miracle Brand, yeah that's a nice one um, whoa up and riding. free falling from the sky Shaded Picaro now digging deep on his backside bottom turn he's got a big open face to work with straight up into the lip Picaro now putting things together. Third turn. Deep brand, so get back to that. Wow. Couple nice moves here, Chris, from Shaden. Uh, under the hood, so late critical drop. Another nice move right here. Somehow the inside bowl, though, has been winning the battle against Shaden. And uh, another swoop right here. Trying to go for sort of a two for one. Trying to fit two maneuvers there. And tries to get the finish. He goes down. You can see Cooper Chapman right behind him. Up and out, wisely decides to opt out that wave. It wasn't going to give him anything to work with. Absolutely threw caution into the wind. So Shaden's going to go from fourth, potentially, all the way to first. And again, here's a stylish swoops from Cooper. Let's see if he can pull this off, and he does. So Cooper surfing with some urgency. By Here the way, that, that wind picked up for us. It's a lot cleaner out there, Chris. Yeah, that just makes these waves so beautiful looking from the beach, but it's just that much more dangerous on the takeoff. See, Shaded Picaro throwing it straight up into the lip. Another big snap, can he hang on? He does. Tempting fate going up late, upside down into a massive inside sunset bowl. Shaded Picaro just two hammers. His waves, but wasn't able to finish it. This one he does. So this is gonna be, in my opinion, easily the highest score of this heat. That was a real vertical approach there. So aggressive, critical section. The judges are going to eat it up. Another one, I mean, that's just check all the boxes on a judging criteria. 
got mixed in right there at the inside. Unbelievably goes vertical and on his way back down, kind of came into the white water, adding kind of danger and adding excitement to the finishing portion of that turn, which the judges love to see. And I truly think the judges like to see you surf on the edge of out of control. So a massive reward for Shaden Picaro. An 8-3-3 as we see Benji Brand here. He's about to hear the news that his buddy Shaden has dropped a huge score and dropped Benji into second place. Now Cooper Chapman in third, needing a 6-3-4. Tori Meister needs a 7-7-3. Here we go, Tori Meister. Could have a clean line here. Looking for the tube, finds it. Can he make his way out? He gets eaten. Oh, had to go for it, Tori Meister. An incredible tube better right there. If anybody was gonna make it out of that tube, it would have been Tori. Round one, heat 10 in the books. That was a rad heat, I love that. I mean, Shaden from the basement to the roof right there. Fourth to first, pretty cool.